Hello and welcome to this answer explanation video. This video will talk you through the answers for the multiplying fractions by fractions worksheet and we'll talk you through some of the tricky bits. Question one says circle the correct answer to the calculation below. And we have four sevenths multiplied by three fifths and we've got three possible answers. We've got A, seven twelfths, B, 20, 30 fifths and C is represented by a diagram but if you look at the total number of squares that we have or the total number of equal parts of that whole uh, there are 35 uh, and then the green highlighted parts there are t uh, 12 of those so that fraction would be 12 30 fifths and if we multiply 4 7 by 3 fifths we multiply the numerators 4 multiplied by 3 is 12 and the denominator 7 multiplied by 5 is 35 so we have 12 30 fifths so c would be the correct answer Question two says, match the calculations to the correct answers. So we have A, two thirds multiplied by seven eighths, B, two thirds multiplied by four sevenths, and C, 11 twelfths multiplied by seven ninths. And we have the three possible answers that we need to match up. One is represented by a diagram. And if you look at the diagram, the uh, shape of the whole is split into uh, 21 equal parts. So the denominator of our fraction will be 21, and there are eight of those parts shaded in. So the fraction there would be 8 over 21, 8 21 Fraction 2, we've got 7 7 over 108, 7 7 108, and C, we have 7 over 12, 7 12. So if we carry out the multiplications, we should hopefully be able to match them up to the answers here. So we'll start with 2 thirds multiplied by 7 8. So if we multiply the numerators first, 2 multiplied by 7 will be 14, and 3 multiplied by 8 will be 24. So if we look at our answers, we don't actually have 14. 24th, so 4 times 24 is one of our possible answers, but we can cancel this fraction down. So we need to find a, a number, the highest multi, the highest factor that can go into 14 and 24, uh, and that would be 2. So we can divide 14 by 2 will be 7, and 24 divided by 2 will be 12. So that is 7 twelfths, and that is the answer 3. So we can match that up, A can match to 3. So B, 2 thirds multiplied by 4 sevenths. So 2 multiplied by 4 is 8, and 3 multiplied by 7 is 21, and that matches up to number 1. So C should match up to uh, answer 2. Let's just try it out though. 11 times 7 is 77, 12 times 9 is 108, and that does match up, so C matches up to 2. Question 3 says, choose the correct number cards to complete the calculation below. Each number card can be used only once. And we have um, an incomplete multiplication uh, calculation involving fractions. So we've got some missing numerators and denominators, and both the numerator and denominator missing in the uh, results. And we have the number of cards that we can use. Uh, we have 2, 6, 8, 10, 18, and 24. So first of all, when you look at this, there is some uh, ways you can work out what the numbers are going to be, which number cards have to go where. Um, just thinking about some number facts, really. Uh, we look at the numerator, we know that this numerator multiplied by this numerator is going to give this numerator here. And we know that one of the uh, numerators we're multiplying is 5. So the result here of that multiplication has to be a multiple of 5. And if we look at the numbers that we've got, the only one that we could use would be 10. So 10 is going to have to go as our numerator there. To make 10, from multiplying two numbers together, two numerators, it's going to have to be a 2 here, and we do have a 2 that we can use. So the numerators pretty much have to be 2 here, multiplied by 5 to make 10. Looking at the denominators, it's going to be 3 multiplied by something makes something. So we know that this result here has to be multiplied by 3, so it's, it can't be 8, so it's only going to be 6, 18 or 24. To make 6, we'd have to have to use 2, and we can't do that. So we're going to be multiplying either by 6 or 8. And 3 multiplied by 6 would make 18. 3 multiplied by 8 would make 24. So either of those options would work. So if we do 3 multiplied by 6, then we can use the 18. And of course, you could swap that out with the 8 and the 24. That was a video on the answers for the multiplying fractions by fractions worksheet from Classroom Secrets. 
If you want to watch a video tutorial links this skill, you can go to kids.classroomsecrets.co.uk or for more resource links this skill, you can go to classroomsecrets.co.uk.